let's determine whether uh, this molecule is R or X. Here's the stereo center. Let's draw in the hidden hydrogen. Now, it's difficult to deal with this picture because we don't have explicit dashes and wedges. So as a trick, we could redraw this as a flat picture. Let's put the stereo center at the top. It doesn't have to be at the top, but let's just put it at the top. Um, and then where are we going to put these two methyl groups? Well, they have to go here. You can't put them here, or you'll be messing up the clockwise-counterclockwise arrangement. If you start at the stereo center, what's the quickest path to get to the two methyl groups, clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, if you start at the stereo center, you have to move counterclockwise to follow the shortest path around the ring to the two methyl groups. So, we have to be consistent and draw it the same way in this picture. We've drawn it that the shortest path from the stereo center to the two methyl groups is counterclockwise, the same as in that picture. If you put the two methyl groups over here, um, you'd be distorting the original picture, because then you'd be going clockwise to get to the two methyl groups in this picture, and counterclockwise in this picture, and you're going to end up with the wrong answer. Let's draw in a wedge and a dash on the stereo center. Um, now, where should we put uh, the methyl group? This methyl group is clearly pointing down. The methyl group is clearly pointing down, so it goes on the dash. Anything that's pointing down in the chair picture goes on the dash in the flat picture. And then how about um, this uh, hydrogen over here? Well, you could just do it by elimination. Since we've already put something on the dash, clearly the hydrogen has to go on the wedge. But I think you can see that this um, bond here is pointing up. It's not pointing straight up, but it's still pointing somewhat up. It's certainly not pointing down. So even without knowing um, that the methyl group was on the dash, you should still be able to look at this hydrogen and see that it's pointing up, so it should go on the wedge in this picture. Okay, now we can assign the priorities. Based on these lists, we can see that the methyl group is the number three priority. The other two carbons are still tied. Uh, but now we've clearly broken the tie, and this left-hand this left-hand path has the higher priority than the right hand path. Now that we have the priorities, we can see the number four priority is pointing towards us. We need to make a swap so that the number four priority will point away from us. Now the configuration on the page is S. But we made a swap, so the true configuration originally was R. So what's the configuration of this stereo center? R. Remember that if you've correctly translated the chair picture into the flat picture, whatever the configuration in the flat stereo center, that's going to be the same as the configuration in the chair. That's our trick. So this has an R configuration. 